Now, there's a list of uh, a number of verses where God appears or a, a God-like figure appears to human beings. Now, we see these verses in the Bible, these words that tell us about God or the human being who appears in the form of a human being. This is how God appears in the Bible. And if you think about it, this is actually a second type of man theophany. Now, this is the first type of man theophany. 就说神的显现是是从类似的，可以说第二种这种人呃这种来显现。Because the court theophany that we looked at earlier、uh, hints at a human figure in the center. 因为我们前面说到的宫廷的这个神的显现是讲到这个有这个君王这一位人坐在宝座上啊。And、uh, some It's debated、uh, how many, but some of these are pre-incarnate appearances of Christ. That, that, of course, there are some debates, but some people think this is the person who appeared before Jesus in the form of a human being. When the figure is identified as divine, especially when the figure is identified as divine, 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 when
but see, I think it's picking up on this other element of the chariot. So, I think this is using the that chariot. This 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 this. So, what you're experiencing now is that some of these theophanies. I've tried to classify them, but that it. Some of them combine features. So, 虽然我们尝试把它分类，让大家学习，可是你看见在这里，它其实是合一在一起的。The chariot theophany language is in the its poetic context. Yeah, 在这个车辇的这样子的显现是在这个诗歌体的台内表现的。And its context of judgment and war. 是讲到这个上下文讲的审判和战争。Um, it's it pictures God in effect going to war against his enemies. And that fits Daniel seven when you think about it, because God is going to execute judgment on the beast kingdoms that are opposing Him. This is, uh, fits this Daniel seven when you think about it, because God is going to execute judgment on the beast kingdoms that are opposing Him. This is, uh, fits this Daniel seven when you think about it, because God is going to execute judgment on the beast Now, you you have to realize I'm using theophany now in a broad sense. 我想你已经明白了，我用这个这个神的显现是用广义来描述的。In Genesis one two, the spirit of God is hovering over the waters. 创世纪章二节说，神的灵运行在水面上。Was that a visible appearance? 那是那是可见的显现。Well, Genesis doesn't go into detail. That 创世纪本身没有讲到细节 But there is a suggestion of a special presence of the Spirit of God. 但是它的确讲到这个圣灵特别的临在 And and that special presence is moving around. 那这个神特别的临在是在是在不断的在动的 So you're at least invited to think about something that might be visible. 所以你可以想象它很可能是让你觉得是可见的 And the context. What's the context? 那上下文是什么呢 It's the very first thing uh, when God has created the initial form of heaven and earth. This is, uh, 上帝创造天地的时候是第一个开始的 And now the Spirit is present. God is present, and His presence is going to create the order uh, a, and further structure this world. 那神的灵在，圣灵的灵在，来来赐下这个呃这个赐下指示，如何来创造这个世界。Now turn to Psalm 104. 我们请翻到诗篇第一百零四篇 Let's read verses one to four together. 我们一起来念一到第四节，请我的心呐、啊，你要称颂耶和华，耶和华我的神呐、啊，你为至大，你以尊荣威严为衣服，披上亮光如披外袍，铺张穹苍如铺幔子，在水中立楼阁的栋梁。用云彩为车辇，借着风的翅膀而行，以风为使者，以火焰为仆役。This is poetry in Hebrew. 这是希伯来文，是诗歌体。It's meant to evoke your associations. 这希望能够，它的目的是要带唤起你里面的这些联想。And starts out by praising God. 那那一开始说到这个赞美，称颂主耶和华。And you should already. Think. I mean, that's associated with the fact that God shows who He is. Because this is how the God shows who He is. Connected. But then it talks about the fact He's clothed with splendor and majesty. Then it talks about the fact that He's clothed with splendor and majesty. And that's a hint of of some kind of human-like shape. This is using human. He has to have clothing. Like a human-like shape, human clothing. This is using human. He has to have clothing. Like a human-like shape. And then verse two, he covers himself with light,、uh, as with a garment. 第二节说这个他的这个披上亮光，像如披外袍。And then he stretches out the heavens. 啊，然后他把这个这个穹苍铺张延展出来。And、now that's a reference to the creation of light on the first day of creation. 这是指指到这个创世纪说的第一天，上帝创造光。But here, it functions as God's garment. 这里说到这个光是上帝的外袍。How do you understand that? Now, how do you understand that? It's showing that the light reflects who God is. That 说明这个光像外袍是要是要显明上帝是谁 Now, the light that you see here is not God. 你在这看到的光，它不是谁 It's created by God. 这是个受造的光，上帝造的 
but it still reflects who God is. It, it testifies to who God is. And First John one says God is light. Well, he's the original uncreated light. 当然上帝是那个原本的是非受造的光, and then he creates light. But the light that he creates reminds you of God. So this is the language of theophany. It's not literal theophany in a most spectacular way. Now look at verse 3. He lays the beams of his chambers on the waters. That's saying that the created world is like a house that God dwells in. So that's a temple theophany. He makes the clouds his chariot. What does that make you think of? See, it's beginning. You may not you may not realize it, but this is this is inviting you to think about all these kinds of theophany. The clouds are manifestation of the glory of God. Ordinary clouds. Now, the clouds at Mount Sinai were very special. But even in their specialness, they're meant to teach you something about the world that you see every day. And then it says he rides on the wings of the wind. Well, that language of riding is again, it's the chariot language. And the wings, uh, the wings of the cherubim. So, so you get all these associations. And then verse 4, he, he makes his ministers a flaming fire. There's fire theophany. Except it's talking about fire that God created in this case. So may I suggest to you, this may be a new thought. May I suggest the entire created world is a manifestation of the glory of God. You remember when God appears to Isaiah in Isaiah 6. And it's, it's an overwhelming experience for Isaiah. The Lord seated on his throne high and lifted up. Above him stood the seraphim. Now it's a court theophany. And then it, later on it says, the whole earth is full of his glory. So that intense experience Isaiah had, in a sense, overflows. And the world that God created is the overflow of that glory that Isaiah experienced. Now these theophanies in the Old Testament prepare you for the appearance of Christ in his incarnation. As, as we said earlier, Christ is God in the flesh. And we know from the New Testament that Christ, along with the Father, is the creator of the whole world. Colossians 1 says, In him, everything in heaven and earth was created. So what you see 
in the world around you is a reflection of the glory of Christ. So you see, the world around you is also reflecting the glory of Christ. If we find joy in the beauty of a flower, if we find joy in the beauty of a flower, if we find joy in the beauty of a flower, if we find joy in the beauty of a flower, if we find joy in From the heat of the sun that lets the plants grow. 如如果看到享受着太阳的光照在我们身上，这个这个温暖的热哈，在这个植物上。That is a little drop from the goodness of God. 就从这一小滴来看见上帝的美善。But what if you stand in the new heaven, the new earth, in the middle of a whole river? Of the goodness of God. That you 站在新天新地里面时，你看到所有整个像巨流的这个神的美善。People around you do not understand the world that they are living in. 这些世人围绕着周围，他们不信神，他们他们不知道这个世界存在的意义。They do not understand themselves. 他们也不认识自己。They were made with the in the image of God in order that they would have the potential. To stand and have communion with the God who made the whole world. They are under God's image, made. They have this opportunity to know the God who made the whole world. And even though each one of us has rebelled against the God who made us, although we have all sinned against the God who made us, God has come. Christ has come not only to show us who God is. Now, Jesus Christ came not only to show us who God is. But to reconcile us to God through His death, 让我们借着基督耶稣他的死来与神和好。And He's raised from the dead to show the glory of God the Father. 他从死里复活来彰显父上帝的荣耀。If you trust in Christ, 如果你信靠基督的话 ，you yourself with your own eyes will see the intensity of the glory of God, and you will not die. 这个你会的亲，你会亲眼看见的神这样何等强大极大的荣耀，你你永远不会死。Because Christ has opened the door to enter into communion with the God who made you。啊，主耶稣就因为打开那大门，让你能够进去和这位创造的上帝不断永远的相交谈气。Now the book of Revelation in its various aspects is telling you about this very God。这个启示录是在他所尽他所有范围之内告诉你这伟大的上帝。是 God who made the whole earth and everything in it。这个上帝创造这个世界万有和其中一切所有的。是 God who is and who was and who is to come。是这位昔在、今在、永在、要要再来的这位上帝主耶稣。And He will come。In the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ, the great God of Heaven will come in Jesus Christ's coming to display His glory. And you will either be destroyed for your evil that is in you, or you will be purified because you are united with Christ. If you are the one who is sinless, you will be purified because you are united with Christ. If you are the one who is sinless, you will be purified because you are united with Christ. If you are the one who is sinless, you will be purified because you are united with Christ. The theme of God's appearing is. So, 朋友们，你看到这个上帝的显现是多么重要的这个主题。And the book of Revelation is full of it. 那么这个启示录就是这样赐给我们的。I wish we had time to explore it more this evening. 我盼望今天晚上能够继续有时间能够再讲解这个。But you have the rest of your life on Earth to do that. But you, you, and your life, you can use to study the Bible to see God's appearance. And and not only on Earth, because if you trust in Christ, you will live forever. Not only on Earth, because if you trust in Christ, you will live forever. Not only on Earth, because if you trust in Christ, you will live forever. Not only on Earth, because if you trust in Christ, you will live forever. Not only on Earth, because if you trust in Christ, you will live forever. Not only on Earth, because if you trust in Christ, you will live forever. Not only on Earth, because if you trust in Christ, you will live forever. Not only on Earth, because if you trust in Christ, So maybe we ask the faculty response first. Faculty to respond first. 也许我们先请这个我们当中的这个呃改革神学的这个教授们先来回应哈。我们这里呃，我想有叶启多牧师，还有啊，那呃叶牧师先请。
many of your books, I think, bring this out, mm -hmm. and uh, so give you maybe some more chance to develop by asking a question. Mm -hmm. um, if, you know, Romans 1 says, uh, the heavens, uh, well, Psalm 19, the heavens declare the glory of God. Romans 1 says, uh, the divine power and the eternal power and divine nature of God are revealed through the way he's created, but instead man worship the creation instead of God. So, uh, if you could comment on uh, the, two, the two ways, maybe, or several ways, perhaps, that come to my mind, that men respond to the, the theophany uh, in unbelief, and how uh, seeing these things uh, through the eye of faith help us deal with uh, you know, the practical life uh, issues of living in the world and the right stewardship of, of the created world. Uh, for example, uh, pantheism and its response to the, the visible creation or perhaps on the other side, scientific materialism as a way of responding to what's seen with unbelief uh, or worshiping uh, the created world, uh, as opposed to what the Christian should be doing as we see the created world and, and imaging um, in all these ways that you've mentioned, uh, how we become like in certain ways the theophanies that we see. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the, the goal of the Christian life. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, let's <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音
，那这是很多年来我读过这些经文，但是我我相信他，但是我好像还没有完全明白他。And it was partly through the writings of Meredith Klein and partly from the Book of Revelation directly that、uh, God, I think, helped me to understand it better. 但是透过这个 Mary Klein 所写的书，以及我读启示录呢，帮助我开始明白这节经文讲的了。It's true in a general way that everything testifies that it's been made by God. 呃，的确，总的来说呢，每一件事上所造的都彰显，都为上帝做见证。But there are more specific things. 但有些是更特别的事。The light that you see is created light. 那你看见的光都是被造的光。But it reflects. The fact that God is the original, uncreated light. This 反映出上帝他是这个原本的那个非受造的光。And the life that you experience in your own body is created life. 那你你的身体所经历的这个生命，这是个受造的生命。But it reflects the uncreated life that God has forever and ever. 这反映出上帝上帝是这个非受造的生命是永远到永远的。And God put a special tree of life in the Garden of Eden. So, 神在伊甸园中特别安置那一棵生命树 It was a symbol of living in the presence of God in communion with God. 那个树是个记号，说明是活在上帝面前，永远与神相交谈气 And it's a fitting symbol because the tree itself is a beautiful, beautiful living thing. 那这是很合适的一个记号，因为这个树本身是很美丽的这个一个这活物啊 And、uh, the lampstand in the tabernacle is a tree-like shape. So in this tabernacle, this one is a tree that is shaped like this tree. It's intending to remind you of the uncreated life of God. To remind you of the uncreated life of God. To remind you of the uncreated life of God. To remind you of the uncreated life of God. To remind you of the uncreated life of God. To remind you of the uncreated life of God. The world was transformed because I understood how it testified to God. This world is so wonderful. How can it testify to God? And I started looking at trees differently. From the beginning, I started looking at trees differently. From the beginning, I started looking at trees differently. From the beginning, I started looking at trees differently. From the beginning, I started looking at trees differently. From the beginning, I started looking at trees differently. From the beginning, I started looking at trees differently. From the beginning, I started looking at trees differently. 来羡慕，来看到上帝的这个惊叹，他的伟大，他的全能，他的威严。And it's it's the God woke me up to what's always there. 那是上帝唤醒我，让我看到他本来就一直在我周围这些事情。And, and Jesus talks about the lilies of the field. 主耶稣讲到你要去看野地的百合花。They're beautiful. 他们是美丽的。And God cares for them. 呃，上帝也照顾他们。And we don't notice it. 那我们却忽略了。But it was there all along. 那他野地花一直在那儿了。Why don't we notice it? Why do we not notice it? That's the second point: the suppression of the truth. This is the third point. Said because we are suppressing the truth of God, and whole cultures can persuade themselves and everybody telling everybody else that it's all about matter and that God is irrelevant. This is the third point. In the culture, people say that all these things are matter and that God is irrelevant. We are suppressing the truth of God, and we are making it. But to do that is as if you have to put out your own eyes. Yeah, 这样做其实是你把你自己眼睛弄瞎了 Not literally, but spiritually. 这是属灵上来说是瞎眼的 You have to ignore a lot of things that are there. 因为你故意去忽略那些非常明显的许多在那儿的事情 You have to ignore the beauty that has such a powerful effect on us. 那你就就等于否认这像上帝创造荣美，他们如何影响我们 If the if the world is just matter in motion, then beauty is meaningless. 如果这个世界只是物质和在运动的话，那这个美丽就没有意义了。But but nobody really believes that. 对，没有人真正相信那样子的。They can say that they believe. 他们可以说他们相信只有物质和能量。But they they can't escape beauty. 但他们不能逃避这个启示。Not completely. 至少他不能完全的逃避。Now that transformed me. 这样改变了我。And I hope it transforms you. 我希望这也能改变你。Uh, but in, uh, Dr. Yates' kind of second aspect was to ask, "What about pantheism and these other religious、uh, approaches?" Yeah, 博士说到的，他的第二部分说到关于这像泛神论和其他这些宗教的这些方式怎么看呢 ？Let me start with a, with a simple illustration. 让我给一个简单的例子做开始。There are tribal peoples that worship the sun. 
你知道有那些这个这些原住民这些部落人，他们是在敬拜日日头。Because they think the sun is a god. 因为他们认为这个太阳是神。And the ancient Egyptians,、uh, Ra was the sun god. 那古古代这个古代的这个埃及他们拜的神是是日头神。That's a complete perversion. 这是一个完全的扭曲堕落。It confuses the creator and the creature. 那把创造主跟受造物都混乱在一起了。It's exactly what Romans is talking about. 这正是罗马书第一章所说的。The, the third point that it makes later on is the、uh, verse twenty three is they exchange the glory of a mortal god for images resembling mortal man and birds. 这第三点，这是第二三节所说的，将不能朽坏之神的荣耀变为偶像，仿佛必朽坏的人和飞行走兽昆虫的样式。They couldn't bear to worship the Creator. That they, uh, 不愿意去创造，不愿意敬拜那创造的主。They ended up making substitutes. 最后他们就用代替品了。Now that's idolatry. 那就是拜偶像。It's hideous to God. 这是很邪恶的拜偶像。And it's degrading to mankind. 这人与自己就变至关堕落了。It's contrary to how we were made by God. 这是和我们被上帝创造者完全相反的。But it's close to the truth. 它是。接近真理的 ，The sun is so glorious. 那这个太阳是如此的这个美丽荣耀。Jesus appears, remember, with a face like the sun. 那主耶稣的这个显现，你看他脸是像日头一样。The sun is a creature. 这但日头是受造物。But it reflects the uncreated glory of the Son of God. 但是它却反映出那个呃非受造的上帝的儿子的荣耀。And if you get confused. Then you end up worshiping the sun rather than the one who made the sun. 如果你搞混乱的话，你结果你去敬拜这个受造太阳，却不敬拜这位创造的主。Now the same goes for pantheism. 那同样这也是泛神论所犯的错误。Pantheism is a little more sophisticated, but it boils down to the same thing. 那泛神论虽然比较复杂，可是它仍然是一样的。It says the whole world is God. 他说所有全世界都是神。And you can see things like that when people will hug the trees and and worship nature. So you 看到人们去抱树去崇拜大自然 And you'll have these、uh, beautiful nature documentaries. 你可以看到这些，比方说这个呃电影纪录片拍摄这个美丽的这个各样的自然景观 And and the baby foxes. 呃，你看到那些这些狐小狐狸在动吗 And otters playing in in the in the water. 你看水中那些动物在动啊 And it's also wonderful. This is very wonderful. And then the voice comes on in the background. And the video片的背后就是说出来背景声音了 And says, "Isn't Mother Nature wonderful?" This is this uh this nature, not this nature, the nature of nature, the mother's voice. Well, Mother Nature is a pantheistic term. So, nature's mother, mother nature, this is a pantheistic term. So, you're invited to treat nature as if it were ultimate. That. 其实他在要你去，呃，这个将大自然当作是这个终极的。So that is completely confused. 那这是带来极度的完全的混乱。But why do people do it? 那为什么人要这样做呢 ？Well, they do it because Satan has confused them. 因为撒旦在迷惑他们，使他们这样做了。But they're also doing it because it's close to the truth. 他们这样做是因为这些是假，是假冒的，很接近真理的。I think those baby foxes are cute. I I think those little foxes are cute. We are meant to admire God's creation. We should admire God's creation. Right, and the people who are worshiping nature are responding to an impulse that. Is to worship whatever is wonderful out there. The people, this worship by this sort of zoo, is they think, "Oh, how beautiful! I worship it, I love it." But instead of worshiping God, who's showing His wonders, they worship the the reflection of it. They are not worshiping God, who's showing His wonders. They worship the reflection of it. They are not worshiping God, who's showing His wonders. They worship the reflection of it. They are not worshiping God, who's showing His wonders. This is popular in some intellectual circles. 呃，这是在这个知识分子当中是很很很流行的。And you'll hear it from some scientists. 你会听到有些科学家这样说。But it's really not science. It's it's a philosophy. 那其实唯物论它不是科学，它是一个哲学。The philosophy says that matter and motion and energy is all there is. 那这个这样唯物论是说物质、运动、能量就全部了，没有别的了。And beauty and consciousness and morality and everything like that is not real. 美丽啦，认知啦，这这一切其实都是都是假的，不是真的
or it's like a layer of froth that just is on top of the ocean of matter. So matter and energy are ultimate. They function like God. Right? Whatever is ultimate and is is has no further explanation, that's the last thing. So, so these people don't realize it, but they are very religious people. In, in their hearts, they are still worshiping something. They are worshiping matter as ultimate. And matter is a wonderful thing. Why? Because God made it. <laughs> right? And science is a wonderful thing. Because the scientist, without recognizing it, is trying to think through the mind of God who made it all. That's another lecture. <laughs> Or another book. <laughs> uh, I am writing a book on the manifestations of God. But it's it's some time away from being published. <laughs> Could you also comment on the ways that people can see the individual types of theophanies uh, reflected in the Christian life that we should be thinking in terms of the spiritual implications for ourselves. Uh, you can't remain neutral once you understand what God is showing. You're either going to stand in awe of him or worship him, or you're going to have to turn away from him. And, and again, the redemption of, in Christ is all important. Uh, things that I'm talking about of the, of the light and the thunder reflecting the glory of God People who are, don't belong to Christ, in some ways, cannot understand them. It's only through Christ that we have our eyes reopened to who God is. And it's through Christ that we have our sins forgiven, so that we can stand in the presence of God without dying. But as I mentioned, Christ gives us two benefits. The one benefit is that he gives us his perfect, perfect righteousness to clothe us before God. That's related to, I could have mentioned, what you call clothing theophanies. <laughs> but that's related to Christ too. Because the scripture pictures his righteousness as like clothing that covers our filthiness. And, and that's called justification. It, 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 God pronounces us perfect because we are in Christ. The second benefit is called sanctification. And, and that's a progressive transformation from the heart outward so that we become renewed as people. And because sin has twisted all kinds of things inside. And getting straightened out is not a matter of digging in and operating on yourself. It's a matter of having personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Have you ever known a friend 
that you really admired. And, and maybe you found yourself wanting to imitate that friend because you admired him or her so much. But, but the friendship with Christ is even much more than that. Because that friendship is established by Christ giving us his Holy Spirit. And through the Holy Spirit, we have a communion with Christ that makes us more and more like Him. And we see Christ with spiritual eyes given by the Holy Spirit. As Jesus says to Philip, He who has seen me has seen the Father. And He also says uh, uh, later on, Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Believing in Christ is a kind of spiritual seeing. And as you read the scripture, you have descriptions that tell you about Christ and who he is. And that includes the book of Revelation. And as you read those with spiritual eyes, you start reflecting the glory of who Jesus is. And you start loving God more and more. It isn't something that you create by saying, now I'm going to save myself. It's something that God creates through this relationship with Jesus Christ. And that goes on and on in the Christian life. And you begin to take on all the characteristics of Christ in His greatness and in His glory. So I think it's right that every one of these theophanies has a relevance. And not all in the same way. We don't become God. We become morally like God. Right? So that there are some things that remain appropriate only for God. But in many ways, we find ourselves imitating the character of God. And that character is shown in these theophanies. Uh, even something like the, the first one, the thunderstorm theology. Well, that's focused a lot on the power of God, the divine power of God, and on His wrath and on His judgment. So one of the main things we're being taught is to submit to God and to admire His power and not to claim to have divine power ourselves. But it's also true that when you see God's judgment and His anger against sin, it should stir you up to be serious about sin. So you cry out to God and to Jesus to remove the sin from your life because it is so horrible. And you also become zealous for fighting against evil throughout the world. Although that must be done in a godly way. But Christians through the centuries have, at their best, they've often learned to do that. And they have been a force for good in the world and a force that is restrained. Uh, thievery and uh, rape and uh, all these uh, things that are evil. But the goal, you know, is the goal 
of growing into the image of Christ. Yeah, uh, we oh, yeah, it, it's a very good question because the book of Revelation has a heavy focus on suffering uh, for the Christian's experience. And the Christians may be persecuted. And, but communion with Christ and the knowledge of God as he appears to us gives us strength. If you understand that God is going to triumph perfectly over evil in the new heaven and the new earth, and you understand that He has laid the foundation for that already in the resurrection of Christ, and then that gives you courage and fortitude. And the book of Revelation is partly about that because it's calling for people to endure in the midst of suffering. But it's also a message that links that suffering with the suffering of Christ himself. Uh, Christ suffered immensely in his crucifixion looking forward to his resurrection and glory. And Jesus, uh, Revelation calls Jesus the faithful and true witness. And it calls on Christians to be faithful and true witnesses. Even to the point of death. Now you can see that it's linking the Christian life with what Christ went through. Christ alone atoned for our sins. But we imitate him in the sense of our suffering being a suffering in union with him. And it means that our suffering is transformed by the presence of Christ himself. And even in the midst of suffering, we have fellowship with Christ who has entered into that new world. And we have a foretaste to encourage us. We have a foretaste of that world in our relationship to him. He he talks about the fact that that he gives us peace and joy even in the midst of trouble. And Shall, shall we close? Yeah, I'll close in prayer. Okay. Let us pray. Let us pray. Lord, we would come before your presence acknowledging you as the King of the universe. Uh, the Creator of heaven and earth. And also our Redeemer through Jesus Christ. And the Lord, when you appear in these instances, you show the glory and the scope of your majesty. We pray we would grow in appreciating just how good and and powerful and deep you are. Would you teach us also how to read the book of Revelation, appreciating your presence? 
，求主亲自来教导我们如何的读启示录，让我们更加认识、领受你的临在同在。Would you cause our communion with Jesus Christ to grow in order that we may be transformed into His likeness? 使我们在基督耶稣里，求你使我们越来越与主联合，越来越活出像基督耶稣的样式。And as Revelation indicates, may we be lights reflecting Your light to the world. 正如启示录说，让我们能够真的活出这个世上的光来彰显，来见证你是真光。May you have mercy on those around us who are in darkness. Ah, 主啊，求你怜悯在我们周围这些活在黑暗里面的人。For many of them, may you bring them into the light. 求主你带他们当中许多人进入光明中。Cause them to understand who you are and the greatness of your redemption in Christ. 使他们能够认识你透过基督耶稣的伟大的这个救赎。We pray particularly for this country of Taiwan. 对，我们特别为台湾祷告。We know that there are many people trapped in idolatry. We know that many people are trapped in idolatry. We know that many people are trapped in idolatry. 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 And may we see a great harvest of people who will bow the knee to Christ and glorify you as you deserve. 我们主要求让我们能看见许多的丰收庄稼，让许多人来敬拜耶稣基督，你是他们的主。We pray also for mainland China for the same thing. 我们同样为中国大陆祷告。In Christ's name, Amen. 奉主耶稣的名，阿门。好，感谢主，我们谢谢夫人博士。好，感谢主。那明天还有呃第二堂，请继续参加公开讲座，是早上九点钟，呃，在呃我们请呃待会报告，我们在隔壁呃洪文堂有九点钟有继续有启示录的公开第二个讲座。